from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. For everyone out there that disagrees, change the channel. You're not worth it. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Wowie, wow, wow, wow. Here is uh, <laughs> some more entertainment from Craigslist. One of the most entertaining websites I could possibly ever visit. What would classified ads look like if people didn't have to pay for them and anybody could advertise anything? Any way they want. Here is, uh, this comes from Orange County Craigslist. It's in the barter section. You can check it out. It's there. There it is. The uh, headline on this listing in Craigslist says... $3,000 white gold diamond ring for question mark, question mark, question mark. And I guess this is in the $1,500 category they have on there, so the $1,500 is listed. Here it is from a woman, as you'll see. I have a white gold ring with 1.10 carat total weight in diamonds from a previous engagement. That didn't work out. By the way, boys, before I continue reading this, it's been a while since I've reminded you, and I'm going to remind you again. Don't buy her an engagement ring. Don't do it. An engagement ring is nothing more than divorce insurance. It's nothing more than an annuity. As you will see in this ad, no engagement rings, please. No. If she loves you, she does not need an engagement ring. The ad continues, it is brand new. And was never worn because it didn't fit me when I was proposed to. It's probably the beginning of the end of the relationship right there. <laughs> you could have checked my size before you gave me an engagement ring. It was my dream to get proposed to it. You couldn't even get my size right. You just see where this went. She says the relationship ended before we got it sized. And I kept the ring. It is a size 7. And can be sized very easily from five to nine without damaging the diamonds. Now, how does she know this part? He purchased it for twenty four ninety five. In other words, two thousand four hundred ninety five dollars. And I got it appraised this week for three thousand dollars. I will include the GIA papers in the deal. Now, there's a photograph of the ring in the ad. I can't show it to you on the radio. She says, sorry, this is the professional picture of the actual ring. I will repost with amateur pictures later and would be more than happy to email them to you as soon as I have a camera available. So please don't be discouraged from making offers. You are also more than welcome to come look at it in person. <laughs> Well, I'd love to make an appointment for that. <laughs> this ring has a lot of history for me, so I will t entertain all offers because I just want to get rid of it. Which, by the way, is what they say every time the relationship ends. That's what they say. I mean, if she really wanted to forget about it, why didn't she give him the ring back? You know why. You know why. 
So here's what she says. I am interested in, and then it's bullet points. I'm interested in $1,500 cash or a different diamond ring of equal or close value. Must have appraisal papers to prove. Good Chargers tickets plus cash. <laughs> this, by the way, boys, all you telling me about marriage being so romantic, this is the real romance of, of marriage and engagement. This is it right here. She will take uh, good Chargers ch tickets plus cash for the ring he spent so much time picking out. Yeah. Uh, gift cards plus $1,500. Well, what does that mean? How many gift cards? What? In what amounts? What are you talking about? Here's another one. 46-inch or larger flat screen or plasma TV. She probably told him he couldn't have a plasma screen in the house and now that he's gone. <laughs> also, she will accept a MacBook plus an iPhone. Both. Wouldn't that exceed $1,500? She says, I will also consider many things of far less value if it is something I need or like. Open to all interesting trades. These are just ideas of things I need, but I am very willing to be very flexible in negotiations. Thanks for reading. Location, Orange County. <laughs> so there you go, boys. Uh, those of you thinking of proposing... This is what happens when things don't work out. This is where those rings go. Those of you who are spending two, uh, two months salary on an engagement ring, of course, if this guy spent two months salary on an engagement ring, what does he make? Twelve fifty a month? Fifteen thousand dollars a year, is that what he makes? <laughs> so at least he didn't spend two months salary on this. Or maybe he did. Just amazing. So this is why I tell you, no engagement rings. I mean, if it's all about love, she does not need an engagement ring. Because this is what they do with them. Later on, they become chargers tickets. Or gift cards. Or plasma screens. Or iPhones. This is what happens with them. More than once. You know, I've been married more than once. More than once, I did not buy an engagement ring. I came up with a, whatever set of excuses. I needed to come up with, but the bottom line was I did not want to give them divorce insurance. I did not want to give them an additional payment uh, that they could uh, have when they go. I just didn't want to do it. I mean, doesn't this make you think twice about giving somebody a gave a ring for God's sake? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. It is finally great to pay homage to the king. Thank you. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. At one 800 800 the tom That's our telephone number, John. On the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Tom, what's up? Not much. Hey, you know she wasn't the one who actually wanted those Charger tickets, right? Oh, of course she doesn't. Uh, she's probably getting boned by somebody. Yeah, exactly. And, and that somebody is a Charger fan. That's exactly what it is. The guy she was nailing lives in San Diego and suggested they might be able to get some good Charger tickets out of the ring. Which, by the way, I wouldn't be above doing. Well, exactly. I mean, could you blame the guy? I mean, what else? I mean, you got to get some in return and gift cards and money. She's just of course, I wonder how many guys who are giving those engagement rings, all those 21-year-old guys who call in who are all in love and they're engaged. They talk about their fiancé and all that. I wonder how many of them think ahead to the... The guy she's going to be boning in the future, going to the Charger game with the money they got. This is a Super Bowl or something better right? than the regular Charger game. Right. Imagine, uh, imagine your girl. Uh, you want? Hey, we're on the radio. What? What are you doing? I know. I'm sorry. My bad. But anyways, I guess could you just take me out, Lacey Peterson style, and I won't use that language on the radio anymore. Thank you.
Hammer. Hey. Hammer. Hammer, Mitch, I'll be there. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. We're talking about the woman on Craigslist who uh, is selling her engagement ring. She never actually even married the guy, but she kept the ring. She's interested in $1,500 cash, a different diamond ring of equal or close value, must have appraisal papers to prove, good charger tickets plus cash, gift cards plus $1,500, 46-inch or larger flat screen or plasma TV, MacBook plus iPhone, or car repair services. She'll also take car repair services. That's right. Now that she doesn't have a fiancé to fix the car anymore. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Kevin on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how you doing? Great. Tom, it is an absolute pleasure and an honor to speak with you. I have a wonderful, I have a horrible engagement ring story to tell you, but I first have to thank you for being the true voice of reason for all men out there. You are truly a legend, and it is an honor to be speaking with you this evening. Why, thank you. Um, my horrible engagement story is this. I've been divorced now for about seven years. Back when I got engaged, which was about nine years ago, I gave my then fiance this beautiful, beautiful engagement ring. Everything turned out great. We had a long engagement. We eventually got married. After we got married, she turned into Horrible with a capital R, just like you said on a, on a previous day <laughs> yeah. about these horrible women out there. And she turned into the she-devil, divorced me, left me for someone else. And by the way, she ended up marrying this guy six months pregnant with his child. Guess who I found out? I found out from a friend. Guess whose engagement ring she was uh, um, uh, posing as his? It's mine. She still kept my ring after all these years saying that it was his. Talk about trashy. There we go. I know. Exactly. Exactly. But I'm telling you, Tom, this guy who married her, I truly feel sorry for him because you know what? Sooner or later, she's going to do the same thing to him that she did to me. And the worst part about the whole thing is he's going to have to hear the two worst words in the divorced man's language. And those two words are child support. Tom, you are truly a legend. Do me a favor and blow me up. Here you go, baby. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Engagement rings. Why would you give someone an engagement ring? For Christ's sake, Tony in Parkland, Oregon, home of the other white meat. You're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Uh, just quick two points about uh, this woman selling that ring. Uh, one, I, I never retained a lawyer in California, but uh, generally uh, engagement rings are exempt from typical gift laws in which if the engagement breaks off, the one who bought the ring has legal right to that ring. So that's not my. I don't know about Oregon, uh, but uh, that's not my understanding in California. Yeah, well, I know in Oregon it's that way, and uh, I know several other states it's that way as well. So it's something to look into for whoever the fool is. Uh, the other thing I wanted to point out is the uh, woman's not very bright when it comes to finances because you know she's looking to trade a uh, two thousand dollar ring or whatever for. Uh, Two thousand dollars in electronic stuff that's going to be worth eight hundred bucks in two years, you know. So, uh, just 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 a point, anyways. Well, I guess you could trade it in for whatever. Uh, you don't. I, women are not investors; they're spenders. And besides, women depreciate after you've bought them. You drive one off the lot; they lose twenty percent of their value immediately. Like any good car. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Dave on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how you doing, buddy? Great. All right. I just wanted to call and tell you, you are the man. I've been listening to you for quite a while, and this is the first time I've ever called in, but I'm a 38-year-old guy, straight, and uh, never been married, never lived with anybody, but uh, I've got great parents who, who gave me a lot of great advice, and uh, listening to you... I know that that advice uh, was actually is dead on target. Thank you for that. Absolutely. I mean, I listen to this stuff 
day in and day out. And I can't believe that, that these guys are buying these engagement rings and these women are using it as leverage to say, if you, if you really love me, you'll buy me an engagement ring. And, and I've seen women do the disgusting, you know, the, the ring comparison where they sit around and they, and they show, you know, each other the rings and they say, well, wow, that's a really great ring. And it's basically your guy loves you, but he doesn't love you as much as, you know, my guy loves me because my ring is, is two carats and yours is only one. Right. And, a, and it's unbelievable because guys don't even, they don't even know that part of the story. Now, I've, I've watched people get married and divorced over the years, and it's just, like I said, it's sick. If a woman wants an engagement ring, my attitude is this. Go ahead and get married if that's what you really want to do. But tell her, hey, sweetheart, if, if, if after 10 years we've made it, you know, we're doing well financially, and, you know, we've got a couple kids or whatever, and there's enough money in the bank and it's not going to hurt us, I'll buy a ring then because then it's, there's a payoff, you know, because of it. You, you've helped me achieve the things in life that I wanted. But, uh, you know, you say that to a woman these days, and they're like, well, that's not very romantic. But this broad who's, uh, I, actually, I'd call her a hooker, uh, who's, try, who's trying to, to sell this ring uh, on Craigslist, I mean, why doesn't she just take the money and donate it to, like, you know, a woman's shelter? or? To oh, good spa? luck on that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Why didn't like, she just give the ring back? I mean, she's, she's so anxious to get rid of it. Why didn't she give it back to the guy? Because she's a whore, that's why. Uh, of course, of course. I mean, obviously, like I said, she's using it. But the reality is, if she really, truly had love in her heart, which is stone cold broad like that, no way. She never loved the guy to begin with. But she kept the ring, and the guy was probably too much of a punk to ask for it back. Exactly. You know, which is a real sad thing. And uh, like I said, just listen to this stuff. You, you bring it, you bring everything to light, you tell the truth. And if these young guys out here don't get the message, uh, they're going to pay for it sooner or later because she's going to really end with marriage first, you're going to buy the house, then she's going to get herself knocked up with some kids, and then you're not the man that you, know, that you were supposed to be. You're out. All of a sudden, you're going to work. We lost them, but uh, good points there. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Carol on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. Good. Well, I first before I tell my story, I just have to say that I really enjoy listening to you. I am older than your target demographic, uh, and uh, but I think you make a lot of sense with a lot of things you say. Now, you're probably not going to like my story, but um, this was my second husband. I was only married to him. I dated him a long time, but we actually only were married for six months. After we got married, he gave me a very nice ring, and then about three months after that, he told me he didn't want to be married anymore, and I never knew why, what happened, what the deal was. But when he served me with divorce papers, he wanted the ring back, and I said, absolutely not. I'm not giving it back. Um, you know, you dumped me. You walked out, whatever. I'm keeping it, but I'll sell it back to you. So after we got the divorce, he bought the ring back. He bought it back? He bought it. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he wanted it. I don't know why he wanted it. I don't know. I would want it back so I could return that. it and get the cash for it. I would want to buy it back. He bought it from me. So I don't know why he did it, but I told him, you know, that was the only way he could give it, get it back, and he agreed to it. Unbelievable. Now, I do have to tell you, it was like a no-fault divorce. I mean, there was no settlement. There was no. It was such a brief marriage. There was no alimony, anything like that. But he bought it back. Well, you got a ring, or you got the cash for the ring. So I got the cash, he got the ring. And he made it into a ring for himself, I'm told. I don't know. I haven't seen him since basically the day we got a divorce. But You sure know how to pick him, Carol. <laughs> I got a good one now, though, Tom. <laughs> All right. Very good. Thanks. Thank Bye. you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Greg on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Great. Well, I, I'm, first of all, I'm an attorney, so first let me just tell you, and I have a great story where I totally got screwed but won in the end. First, the law of engagement rings is really simple. It's a conditional gift that if the marriage doesn't take place, the condition isn't fulfilled, and the ring is supposed to come back. People think that it's, you know, the fault, whoever breaks up loses the ring or has to give the ring back, but that's not, that's not the modern law. So, Is, that, people, is that true in California or everywhere? 
every it, in the, the vast majority of states, including New York and California, most, places that have more of a modern law. So this that, guy was entitled to have that ring. Absolutely, absolutely. But but it, it leads into my story perfectly. So I was about five years ago. I was engaged. It was a really short engagement. Uh, I'm an attorney. She was a doctor. You know, we had the whole thing planned out. Everything was good. And then, you know, she was just being horrible during the wedding playing. So I said, that's it. I'm done. You know, it's over. And, you know, that was it. I moved out and I said, give me the ring back. And she said, no, I'm not giving it back to you. And I said, you have to give it back to me. It's the law. She goes, if you call me anymore, I'm going to get a restraining order against you because you're harassing me. So I was freaked out and I never called her again. Instead, I just hired a lawyer, sued her, served her. She's like, why are you suing me? She called me up, and you know, the threat of a lawsuit and dragging her name through the mud was enough to get the ring back. So, that's I, I love that. that. Isn't that great? Will you ever give another engagement ring? Well, I, I got married. I found a great one, and she's perfect. And, uh, you know, I sold the ring, got the cash, and, you know, some of us get lucky. I know you're against it, but, hey, for me it worked out. But did so. you give your new wife an engagement ring? Oh, yeah, I did. I did. Oh, I did. Jesus. <laughs> I was a, she's a keeper. She's a keeper. And, Doesn't mean she know, needs an engagement ring. You know what? Jewish girls need engagement rings. What can I tell you? <laughs> no, boy. Anyway, you're you're great, Tom. And uh, just blow me up old school. Okay. Here you go. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Steve on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Great. <laughs> Hey, all right, I got a story for you. Number one, this guy's a pussy. This guy went out and spent $3,000 on a ring. Uh, pussy. Pussy! I, I went to the jewelry district downtown L.A. Paid $300 for a $900 set. I, I, I say, I say get him, CZ. Just get a cubic zirconia ring. That's it. No, it was, it was diamonds. It was just about uh, a quarter carat, I think it was. No, get her a big rock. Get her a big... If she's in love with you, she'll go for anything. As long give as her a big a CZ finger. rock. And by the way, if she goes to get into praise and finds out it's CZ, <laughs> oh, that, Tom, that she doesn't really love that. you, does she? If, what was that? That she doesn't really love you, does she? No, this is my wife, man. This is the mother of my child. She's with me and we're happy. You're not hearing what I'm saying, you know. I'm saying I'm saying one thing, and you're saying other things, and we're not. Nothing we're saying is is hooking up here. Jesus, Perry on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. I just wanted to mention that that caller a few times back got it slightly wrong. I don't think when women uh, get around in a circle and show off their wedding rings that they're mentioning how much each of their men loves them. I think they're talking more about how they manage to manipulate each of their men into spending more money on them than they originally had intended to, don't you think? Well, I think it's a combination of the both. I, I think these women actually uh, are doing something else. Uh, they're talking, I think, more about how attractive they are, uh, how much they're worth on the open market. And, uh, of course, these rings just add to their uh, value. And note yeah. that any woman with a fat knuckle, and we, we've proven this on the year before with the geometric logic, uh, it's uh, inversely proportional. The size of the diamond is inversely proportional to the size of the hairy knuckle under the diamond. Yeesh. So there goes my appetite. So the big, the big fat uh, tubs out there. You ever see they got a big, uh, a setting that just looks like a big claw on a little diamond crumb? <laughs> and then women with slender fingers have big rocks. I, Tom, I, I, not many women have called in yet, and uh, it kind of makes sense. But I hope uh, one of them calls in and kind of is honest and admits uh, what they're really talking about when they're sitting around in a circle uh, showing off their wedding rings. Take me out with an I'm not gay, Tom. All right. Here you go, Perry. I am not gay. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Eddie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What's going on? Not much. Tom, I have a really important question for you. Ready for this? All right. Have you ever dated an Armenian chick? Yes. You have. Because me and my cousin are driving down the road and we're listening to you. And we were just wondering, because all these girls that you talk about that, you know, they don't care and they're all spoiled and stuff and they, 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 they treat you like crap. And I was wondering if you find the same thing from Armenian girls. Well, it depends on how Americanized they are. Oh, it depends on how Americanized they are. Like, have you dated like a real, like, like a real cultured one? 
I'm not talking about culture. I'm talking about are they from Armenia? Are they from the United States? Where are they from? No. Well, they, I mean, they're, they're born and raised in, in, in the United States. Like, here, I'll, I'll, I'll do this. Girls, Armenian girls, like, raised in Glendale, Burbank area. And LA. Yes, I've dated women like that. Well, like, what do you think of them? I, I don't know. I understand the, the, the point of your question. Okay, I mean, how do you compare them to American girls? Are they better or worse? Well, they are American girls if they grew up in Glendale or Burbank. Okay, let me let me think. Okay, I'm, I'm trying. I'm thinking of like white girls, like typical like what, like Orange County girls. There you go. Like, like how would you compare Orange County girls with like L.A. Garden, uh, L.A. and uh, Glendale Armenian girls if you dated the two? Uh, again, the, these are big generalizations you're asking me to make. I mean, I don't think, 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 think I can generally say anything about Armenian girls. Really? Generally, they have more hair on their arms than I do. But other than that, I can't generalize. So they have more hair on their arms. <laughs> that, that's true. Um, have you ever met their family? <laughs> no, I never. I make a point of not meeting the family. What, are you kidding me? I don't know. I just, I mean, I've, I've dated both, in it, and I think Armenian girls are, are much better because they, they know how to how to take care of their uh, men more, you know what I mean? I was just wondering if you found the same at all. Uh, again, I, I, I'd stop dating American women, and I mean American women born in America some uh -huh. time ago. Uh, the only American women that I have dated in recent years are women who uh, uh, they still subscribe to the philosophies of the old country. Because right, right. Uh, anyone who's one of these American bitches who's large and in charge, I'm out, out. Wow. That, that that's cool. Hey, can you take me out, Kobe style? Of course I can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. 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 oh yeah, like this. Tom, like, 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 yes. She's given you an ultimatum. Do you know what I say about women who give you ultimatums? Yeah. Dump that Dump bitch. That yeah. Right. The Tom Likey Show. From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likey Show at 1 800 5800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Engagement rings. We talked to a woman on Craigslist who's trying to unload one and she'll take a number of things in trade. But come on now. Why would you give a woman an engagement ring anyway? Maureen on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello. I can't believe I'm even going to speak to you. Neither can I. But I have to say I sell engagement rings and I think that you can tell a lot about a couple. Uh, and the engagement ring doesn't really have a lot to do with it. What is it? What do you mean, what is it? Uh, what What has to do with it? Well, you're saying that, you know, women are gold diggers. And, I mean, you can tell a lot about a couple when they're sitting down to get engaged or get the wedding ring. And I think if there's problems with that, there's big problems prior to. Well, I, I think it's a good way to find out if the person you are going to marry is marrying you for love or money. Because if you say, we don't need an engagement ring, and she whines about it, it's the wrong person. I, I, have, I agree. I would spend 10 cents on an engagement ring at this point in my life. Well, that's because you've already done it a few times. Actually, uh, there's a few times I haven't done it. The last time I was married, I did not have, I did not spend that money. Well, and and what do you think is the difference? What is the difference in not buying it? In not buying it versus buying it. Uh, because uh, I I do believe that it's a waste of money for a man. Uh, no need to spend that money. That's money that could be uh, saved to pay for your divorce later on. Okay. Makes sense, right? I guess it does. I mean, if women could use rings to buy themselves chargers, tickets, and plasma screens, uh, we could just not give them the ring and use the money to pay our attorney's fees. <laughs> well, you will probably would save a heck of a lot more money on attorney's fees than you would on an engagement ring. That's right. Well, there you have it. So you don't have to worry about it. You won't be calling for I'm not. Wor I'm not worried about it. I'm telling other guys. I know. You don't need to do this. 
I, I, I know. But it actually is a very, very sweet time for young kids, and I enjoy it. They're my, they're my favorite people to deal with. Uh, because they're so stupid, they don't realize how bad it's going to turn well, out not, down the line. Not really. I mean, you, yeah, you, really, you yeah. have, but you have an idea that it's always the woman. I mean, you can tell if the guy's cheap. You can tell if he really. Tell if the guy's cheap. I, by the way, the guy's cheap. Why do we owe women money? I don't understand. Well, it's not a matter of owing money. It's a matter. Of women are cheap. It, it, it goes without saying. That's why they expect us to pay for everything. Women are cheap? Yeah, oh yeah. Women are the cheapest creatures on earth. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess that's your opinion. I I don't I'm dead I serious. Mean, I, I even work in Beverly Hills, so I see the absolute, you know, creme de la creme of people that can afford to buy whatever that they want and a lot of them are really sweet. And I tell you what, sweet thing, meaning not, they spend a lot of money, and uh, some of that no, goes into your no, pocket. No, it doesn't have anything to do with the amount of yes, money. Yes, it does. The idea yes, that they want to do everything the right way. First of all, the women obviously are conditioned for, from a young age for the, the little, you know, princess attitude, and the guy's going to treat me, <laughs> me like daddy. Which I have to disabuse them of that notion the minute I meet them. Uh, you're not a princess. Uh, you're not Cinderella. I'm not Prince Charming, okay? Well, that's for sure. That's right. But my point is, is that it's not always the woman that, that's, you know, not in a good situation here. What do you mean, not in a good situation? Well, I mean, sometimes the guy is just like, no, I'll make the decision and you keep your mouth shut. Well, you can just tell so much about what the relationship has been like. It's a gift. Wait a minute. With his mother, it's a gift. I'm not even talking it's about It's a the gift. Money. It's a gift. I know. Do you know so if a man ever... says, shut up, and you're going to get what I give you, uh, guess what? That's, that's the way it should be because it's I, a gift. I agree with you. Tell me what kind of you. gift you to give. You don't need to use the word shut up. I'll get you whatever it is that you want, but... Obviously, he must know what what he's in store for if he's planning on getting married. Uh, again, I think uh, it's a good opportunity. I think r the ring is a great opportunity to find out what kind of gold digger you've hooked up with. I absolutely agree with you, but I also don't think that that's always the case that women are gold diggers. I didn't say they always are. But you want to smoke those out. One way to smoke them out is to say, you know what? I love you. Let's just get a couple of wedding bands. We don't need engagement ring, right? I agree. I agree. But, you know, then... then and if a woman starts all, whining and stamping her feet... When if a woman... Well, there's no trust. If a woman starts whining and stamping her feet, you know you're with the wrong person. You know I you're agree. with a high-maintenance individual who expects you to pay for everything. I think much more about the man. If he's going to demand that this is the way that it's going to be, I would run like hell. But women don't run like hell, especially in Beverly Hills, where there's so much money at stake. But that's not true. How often do they run? Well, usually they they don't. Right, they because don't, there's so much never, money at ever, stake. Ever. I've been doing this for 30 years, and I've never heard a woman say those exact words. I don't want that, and that's not that's not big enough for me. Not once, not ever. Mm. Is that because they always buy big rocks from you, or what? Well, no. I mean, some. You know, it's it's probably larger than normal. I mean, if the largest, that conversation the, probably takes place more at those uh, shopping mall jewelers, like K Jewelers or places yeah. like that, where you go in and you're looking at a, a mountain of diamond crumbs and uh, diamond remnants, and right. and there's a couple of really big rocks somewhere in the store, and uh, you know, the guy's going to say, "I I don't want to spend more than two hundred dollars on a ring." Well, most of the time you do want to find out exactly what sort of price range they want to be in, and then you stick accordingly. You don't show someone a five-carat diamond that, you know, has $2,000 to spend. Yeah. Well, my price range is zero. I know. I and know and any woman who, who makes an issue out of that is the wrong woman. I, I absolutely agree, but there's a nicer way to do it. There's a lot more signs than an engagement ring that to tell you whether you should marry this person. Yeah, but, but if I ask you to marry me, that should be enough. I shouldn't have to explain whether there will or won't be a ring. Well, there you go. I shouldn't yeah. have to explain that. But Well, you know, you probably wouldn't have to if you were going to get to that point. Why not? I can't imagine if anyone going on date two with you. 
You can't imagine that? Well, I they do. I cannot dear. imagine Because it women, women like to buy fixer-uppers. Women like to do extreme makeovers. And women think that they have the vagina that's going to turn a man around. That's not true. Oh yeah. yeah. When you're young, absolutely. When you're young, it's it's the if they say you know all on the chase, and it's a lot like that for women, and that's probably why you don't want to date American women. Why? Because you just you hate American women. I just heard you talking. I don't hate fire. them. I just don't date them. Okay. Okay. Excuse me for the the word, but I. Like, I can't imagine anyone going out with you more than, than once. Depends on what country they're from, dear. Right. Because, we, you know what? I just came back from Europe. You know how many women have engagement rings there? Not a lot. Yeah, almost none. Well, not a lot have. You know what the average size engagement ring is across the United States? What do you think it is? Are you talking about the ring size? Are you talking about the, 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 the diamond size? size. Oh, the the di diamond size. Because ring size... The After part. all those Cinnabons, I'd say eight, nine, ten, you know, but uh, 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 the diamond size, it's probably one carat. No. What is it? Fifteen points. Fifteen points, really? Yes. It's tiny. Well, you think of all the people across the United States that go into the mall stores and, you know, and they don't have a lot of money. Well, so I, as I always say, the, uh, it's, it's the fat women who have those little diamond crumbs. Well, it's a big fat knuckle and then a little diamond crumb sitting on top of it. <laughs> I, know. I know. And you know it's true. It's natural selection. It's Darwinian. Well, I still have to say I'm pro marriage and I I, I do like to deal with. That's the because you sell engagement rings. <laughs> well, that's not why. And I certainly, you know, I mean, what? I'm not going to get any business out of this, but in, and it's not the only thing. No, I mean, I'm not saying you get business out of this call. I'm saying the reason you're pro marriage is because I tell you make your living. Meeting these clueless true. couples who come in and uh, these guys no, who spend all this money. Extremely, extremely sweet. The guys want to do. Everything the right way. They've talked to, you know, 15 people that are friends of the gals. They bring their mothers in. They want to do everything right. They, because they're know, they, pussy whipped and they know if they, 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 they don't do it right, they're going to get yelled at, which is yeah. what happens many times. Yeah, well, I've never, I've never seen it. Well, maybe you haven't seen it, but trust me when I tell you, the reason these guys want to get everything exactly right is because I they're already hearing all the criticisms and the critiques I of the way they do things. They're excited. No, let me tell you something else, too. They, these guys say, okay, I want to get engaged, you know, three months from, you know, next March or whatever. They've got the date planned out. They've got everything planned out. So we sell them the ring. We give them the ring, and then we say, you want us to keep the ring here? And they say, well, no, I'll, I'll take it home. I'll put it in my safe. Nine out of ten times, guys call the next day because I always ask them to call and tell me how it went. They'll call the next day and say, I gave it to her last night. They're excited to get married. Because they're stupid. And well, that's just because you've had four That's like the guys who are excited to go to Iraq, okay? I mean, come on. What are they excited about? Well, I don't know. I mean, the guys who are excited to be going to Afghanistan, you know what I mean? The point is, is that the guys are excited, more excited than the gals. Because they have no idea what they're in for. And in Beverly well, Hills, people know that better than anywhere. Why? You think the divorce rate is worse in Beverly Hills? Oh, by all means, because there's more money. Oh. No, the attorney's fees are just more expensive in Beverly Hills. Oh, no, 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 dear. I, I do believe there's an awful lot of trophy wives and um, uh, real-life Barbies who get married. Look, I, I, I live adjacent to Beverly Hills and the Hollywood Hills, and uh, I'm telling you that uh, there is a lot of divorce and a lot of expensive divorce. Mm. And a lot of these rings are in play at the end. Not necessarily. <laughs> usually, usually the gal does keep the ring. And then sells it. Uh, right. I suppose. Right. We buy, we buy secondhand jewelry, so we don't see many engagement rings. Mostly it's from an estate situation where someone has, has passed away or whatever. Oh, boy. Unbelievable. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. You got that? Tom at... BlowMeUpTom.com It's the Tom Likas Show.